I look like the teacher from recess. Yes or no? <laughs> We are doing a pattern review. As some of you might know, I was selected as a rep this season for Cut Sew Patterns. Um, so I was really excited. They sent me one of their patterns and I got to create some looks with them. Always wanted to use one of their patterns. So, yeah. anyway. Uh, so they sent me the pattern and I made three outfits with it because overachiever. <laughs> and I wanted to test a lot of different things. Um, as a plus size cosplayer, we all know that I personally value versatility in my patterns. Uh, multi uh, so I was really excited um, we all know as a plus size cosplayer I value versatility multi-use and I, you know patterns that are easy to work with because uh, for me I have to do a lot of expanding and resizing that's something I know that I have to do so you know I get it uh, but you know the ease of expanding patterns and stuff always come into play for me we're bringing it down to six categories ease of use versatility uh, adaptability price multi-use and durability the pattern that they sent me which was the play suit pattern it is a uh, style number 56 and it's super cute like the silhouette in this in general is really cute and i really liked it on me and I don't usually like things like this on me, so it was very refreshing. All right, so let's get into the review. I'm a plus size cosplayer and most all patterns I buy don't come in my size or are not something that I can just make it and put it on. I have to make adjustments. So I like patterns that are easier to adjust. So that's something that's important to me and it might be important to you if you're watching this video. So let's get into it. So. First of all, just an overview. Like I said, this is the package. It comes in, it is really cool. I like that it's like a Ziploc bag. And you can put the pattern like back inside of it. Cause I don't know about you guys. I have trouble putting my patterns back inside of the little uh, foldy paper envelopes. Let me take this out and show you guys. Uh, so this is the, this is one of the pieces it's on like, kind of like something between computer paper and uh, bulletin board paper, uh, which is really nice. So when you do this, it doesn't rip. Okay, because <laughs> I know you're not supposed to do this to your pattern pieces, but I tend to always manage to rip uh, the water paper, I think it's called patterns, like the regular pattern paper. Ugh, it's on gosh. Like these pieces are pretty sturdy. I didn't rip any. And I put pins in them. Um, so I put like pins in them and you can hardly see, oh, there they are at the bottom. Like I put pins in it and it's not, it didn't rip. Cause sometimes when I put pins in waterproof patterns and you like move your fabric around and stuff, it rips. So I was very happy with that. So durability, I give this a five out of five. All right. So these are all the pieces. They were easy to cut out easy to you know cut out and stuff and they had uh the website and all of that all right so let's talk about ease of use so pieces easy to cut out you find your size by going to cutso.co slash sizing and they have like you know how some patterns have at the top where you can look at your body measurements and figure out what size you're in you can use that to figure out what size you might be in. I um, did the 3X. It fit me on my lower extremities, but it did not fit me in the uh, bust area just because I am heavily endowed in the bust area. So that might be something that you need to look into when you're purchasing this pattern. But this is where the ease of use comes in. It was very easy to expand the pattern as needed for me. I always started out, I started out by uh, making a mock-up. So this is my mock-up of the bottoms. I just made it out of some throwaway muslin fabric. So I made a mock-up of the bottom of it 
to try and figure out one, I uh, cut one leg short and left one leg long to figure out the length because as we all should know by now, I am six, eight and a half. So regular people's length don't work for me and that's okay. So, you know, making adjustments here and there were very easy. I cut the leg piece in half. Uh, well, not in half, like I cut off the length and just expanded it for a spread method. And the spread method worked very well with this pattern. So, which is good because you don't have to math as much with the spread method. So I just added on the inches and it worked. So yay, ease of use, I give it a four out of five because it's a very easy pattern to use, but um, I found the instructions, which are all digital, which is something that I enjoy. The All the instructions are online. There is a link in the pattern, on the pattern paper that you can use to I'm trying to see if it's on the actual pattern or if it's just in the pattern paper it is it's on the pattern okay <clears throat> another thing that i found really good about these this pattern in general is that all the instructions are online so you just on the back of your pattern it'll say find the sewing instructions for this pattern at and it has the website on it which is great because then you can just go to the website and always have the instructions because I don't know about any of you, I always lose the instructions. That's the one thing that I lose is the instructions. <laughs> so not that I use them very often, but when I do use them, I can't find them. Uh, it's in like a PDF format, so you could print them out if you wanted to, uh, just for your own, like if you're one of those people that has to have like instructions in front of you. I will say that the instructions are kind of wordy, well, more so than like regular pattern instructions that are like very like step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, step six. There's a very step one, two, step three, four, step five, six, step seven, eight. But the pictures are amazing. The pictures that they have in the pattern about where everything goes and how to line stuff up. Chef's kiss quality. Definitely made it a lot easier for me to just be able to like look and say, oh, this piece lays on this piece, this piece lays on this piece. But for all my readers who gotta read the instructions, the instructions are good too. It took me about mm, maybe how, well, once I had my pattern perfected, like I did all my spreading and I knew how everything was supposed to be, it took me about 45 minutes to make it. So I would assume if you bought this and it was like in your correct size, it would take about 45 minutes to make a whole jumpsuit. Uh, I agree. So ease of use is definitely a four out of five for me. All right, vers let's talk versatility. So looking at this pattern, I didn't know how versatile it would be because when I buy patterns, I buy for versatility. Uh, one of my favorite patterns uh, is a bodysuit pattern that I use to make tops, bodysuits, all kind of stuff just because the pattern is so versatile and it works so well. So I was like, is this really gonna be versatile? Like really? But y'all, I hate to say it, but this actually is versatile. Like you could really, like I'm sure you're looking at this like, what can you do with this? Okay, so hear me out. The, um, yes, it's an overall set, but the, just the pants, area alone on this is so freaking versatile because you could make harem pants out of this like easy like for my i made a play suit for todoroki and i just put uh elastic in the bottom instead of doing the trim to tighten it up and they were like perfect harem pants and i was like what the heck like perfect harem pant-esque silhouette from this pattern so i will definitely be using this pattern again for anything relative to that just in general and I also think that the top is actually really versatile because if you wanted to make like a jumper, you could like make a circle skirt like on your own and just like put it on the waistline. And then you got like a jumper. Like, I'm sorry. I'm, I love stuff like that. I think that when you can take something and make a bunch of different looks or use it to make uh, different looks that aren't even like on the pattern to the left that's important because like you're spending money on stuff you want to be able to use it more than once uh that's just me personally adaptability pattern is very adaptable easily easy to for me it was easy to make uh work for me which you know I am 
plus size I am 6'8 so sometimes adapting stuff to my body is a little harder than it might be for most people this was insanely easy like kind of scary easy I was so thrilled with it um just being able to make the adjustments that I needed to make because all of the different elements are so separated that it's so easy to expand and kind of like change so like the pant area is like a, its own like here's the mock-up for it that I made the pants is like its own separate thing like you sew the waist area to it and even then let me bust this piece back out that I had out earlier oh drop my pants leg you know even then that's the pocket like this piece is one of the pieces that attaches to the front pieces that wraps around so you could expand this very easily I did um you can expand the pants legs very easily all you have to do is cut them and expand them this is the front the front is easy to expand because all you got to do is literally move it over because it's on the fold so you just move it over and then that whole area becomes bigger and it allows for it to be you know on your chest where you know your boobs not taking on the side of it you know what i'm saying so i really did like that part of it that was really awesome very easy to use very versatile adaptability is great now let's talk about the price um is this pattern worth the price that um they are selling it for yes indeed i would definitely buy this pattern again and i in a heartbeat because like i said the silhouette is great it's easy to use um but just like the overall packaging is amazing um different uses like it's more very i give multi-use a five out of five like you can use this to literally make like you could make a spring picnic outfit then go and make yourself a christmas outfit i'm being serious like you could literally like cut the legs and make like a shorts and like embroider you like a uh, um, a christmas tree on this thing and have a whole christmas outfit like it's very versatile and very easy to use and you can change up the looks like you don't have to do it with like the little knots like she has the knots right here you can literally put straps like you could do buckles you could do velcro you could do like actual overall things like there's so much you could do with this pattern to change up the look and you could make like 50 of these and they all be different isn't that great i love that and then um yeah so this is one of the looks that i made i'll put pictures of the others so um it's just like shorts i cut it short and then just hemmed the edges very simple very easy it's pink i did a i was going for like a cottage core barbie look so i did this like lace trim uh kind of trim with the holes uh on the straps and then i made these little to make the holes right here i just used the button foot maker you just tie this in there tie this little knot like this and you just pull it through but like i said this is so versatile like this is just like a cute pink thing you can wear like it's very like like um picnicky cottagey core like really cute simple easy and i made it with this pattern all i did literally was shorten the legs and add some trim bam perfect my black one this one i wanted to make more casual and was like something you could wear Kind of like all the time so it's just black um and instead of doing the eye holes i just put velcro in it so you can like cross it over and snap it but there's nothing on the front so it has that like seamless silhouette that's what i was going for i really like 
I did the shorts again for this one. And the pockets, y'all. The pockets are too much. I love the pockets. They're great. You know what I'm saying? Like, and think about it. This is two completely different looks. Like, this one was like a pink Barbie, really cute, really like cottage corgi. And this one was just like black. I kind of was channeling my inner e-girl, I feel like, because I had on a black wig with the green things. Uh, but yeah, same pattern, two completely different looks. That shows the versatility. Like you can make something really cute and sweet, or you can make something that's like a little more edgy. That's the versatility. And you can use this for any character you want to. Like you could make one for Toga. You could like get like um, hmm, a navy blue one and like blood stain it. Like that would be cool. Oh, I might have to do that. That's a good idea. Or you could do something like for Sailor Moon. You could do something like this for like a Uraraka or Sailor Moon or you could just wear this, to be honest. I just I just wear these things now. Like, this is cute. You can't tell me nothing in my little overalls. Anyway, but yeah. Perfectly good and easily versatile. Alrighty, guys. But, like I said, 10 out of 10. Would recommend this pattern. I also want to thank the people at Cut Sew Patterns for sending me this beautiful pattern. Um, that I would highly recommend like honestly like for real like this is great I plan on making a very special Christmas look with this that'll be um, announced later this week so look forward to that guys I'll catch you next time this is Kai with Kai Kari Cosplay bye